All right, so right here, these are hardwired to the LCD panel, so you can't remove those, and they're easily, you know, you know, damage. You can easily damage them by pulling on them. So make sure you do not pull on them. So right here, I'm unclipping the metal frame, and I'm going to use painter's tape to keep it all together, so I don't really tear on these ribbon, you know, ribbon cable connections that are hardwired to the LCD panel. Because if I damage those, I'm screwed. And that was probably going to cost me $500 to replace that screen. So right here, I'm using a suction cup. Now I'm able to get to all these screens and lift it up as one piece. You want to keep them together. Then I have to remove the pegs that hold down basically the backlight cover. So these pegs are really easy to remove. Just you get some pliers. And when you use the pliers, just squeeze and push right through and they they pop right out and you stir I think there's like five or six of them all over and my dumbass forgot to remove the TV boards so yeah that's why I said earlier remove the TV boards because there's pegs behind the TV boards you gotta you gotta remove we got one strip two three four five six LED strips that make up the backlight. R2, R1, R2, R1, R2, R1. And if you replace one LED strip, it's recommended that you replace them all. Now, even though this is a Vizio TV, it uses an LG display. Use the display sticker number when ordering. It's located on the back of the TV chassis. The backlight kit consists of 12 LED strips and one board. It's good for LG and Vizio TVs. Make sure your part number matches up with the proper kit. And it's uh, recommended to you update the firmware on your TV to prevent this from happening again. If the kit is sold out, buy individual LED strips. So let's go ahead and test it. So right here, there's a test point. I'll show you where the test points are. You want to put your black lead on the negative side, the minus symbol. And your red lead goes to the plus symbol and should light up the LED. See? Alright, so let's go ahead and test out the backlights. We're going to test out the first strip right here. And it is good except for the last LED is not working. And you can see that right down there. And we're reading about 29 volts on the voltmeter. 